This way we won't have him bothering us anymore. It was time to act, after what he did at the temple. Everything's ready, Judas. Jesus. Jesus is the one I'll kiss. Let's go. is written, I shall strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. Are you afraid tonight, Peter? The sheep will be scattered, but we will never abandon you, Master. I know, Peter, I know. You love me. Yet this very night, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. What are you saying, Master? No, I'll never disown you. The time has come, Peter. Come, Peter. Come with me. And you come too, James and John. You read our hearts, Master. We all fear for you. Let's leave Jerusalem. My soul is sorrowful to the point of death. Wait here and stay awake with me. He wants to be alone now.
Father. Father. Father, you can do anything, if it's possible. Let this cup pass me by. Nevertheless, let it be as you, not I, would have it. You had not the strength to keep awake with me one hour. Master. You should be awake and praying not to be put to the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We are here, Master, with you. In Capernaum, I left everything to follow you. Don't you remember? This cup cannot pass me by. Father, if this cup cannot pass me by, may your will be done. May your will be done, Father. Your will. so late, Nika. There's a man to judge. At this time of night? Who is he? Are you afraid of a scandal? Is he one of the priests, one of the elders? No, no, he's a rebel, a rebel prophet. <gasps> it's Jesus of Nazareth. Do you know him, Judith? I heard him announce the kingdom of God. He's a just man, a prophet. What crime are you accusing him of? He troubles the people. He's got more than a thousand followers. Too many! What if he turns them against us? Against the temple? And then he teaches them to love their enemies. Where would the world end up if we no longer hated our enemies? He provokes the Pharisees. He went to the temple and chased away the merchants. But if these are his only crimes, how will you be able to condemn him? The high priest knows how. I'm going to see him now. I'm going alone. Why, you ugly beast! Ah, 
witches! Where were you? You are my Kia. And who are you? Does my name Althea Kim remind you of anything? What do you want of me? I've been waiting for you outside your house every night for a month. You should be in prison. You knew I was innocent, but you still had me condemned. No, it wasn't my fault. Don't kill me. Go away, Mickey, and thank Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth? Do you know him? I know him, Mikia. I know him. I thought it was impossible. What? To love one's enemies. But you can. Go, Mikia. of Nazareth has saved me, and now he has saved you, too. has come when the Son of Man is to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let's go. My betrayer is already close at hand. Son of man, with a kiss. Am I a brigand that you had set out with swords and clubs? I was among you in the temple day after day, and you never laid hands on me. But this is your hour. This is the reign of darkness. Take him! No! No, stop, Peter. That will do. Sheathe your blade. And I must drink from the cup that my father has given me. You look thoughtful. What's the matter? Nothing. I want to meet Jesus of Nazareth. You called me so that I could meet him. But also to condemn him, Mikhail. I'm going. It's 
dangerous. Wait for me. I'm coming with you. Arrested the Messiah? But the whole of Israel loved him. How did they know he would spend the night at Gethsemane? Where are you two going? I'm John. The high priest knows me. Who is he? He's with me. All right. You may pass. I'll go first. I know the palace servants. They'll let me in. Wait here for me. John. Brilliant operation, Gavis. This night has obscured forever the star that protected the Nazarene. Yes, but now we must get rid of his disciples. Jerusalem will forget they even existed. His disciples, they ran away like sheep in front of lions. <laughs> Jesus, the Son of God, I wouldn't bet half a shekel on his life. I don't even know him. This man is sly. He changes the words as he likes. We need witnesses. Yes. Tomorrow we'll get to the bottom of this. No, immediately. We'll stay here all night if necessary. And tomorrow morning, Jerusalem will know what happens to those who trouble the people. I don't feel like drinking. You're sad. You're worried about your master, aren't you? Hey, people! Come and see! It's one of the beggars who followed the Nazarene! This man is drunk. He doesn't know what he's saying. What 
empty world. Hear your tides. You're not from here. You're a Galilean. You're a disciple of that man, Jesus. What are you talking about? Before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. <gasps> Gethsemane. In the Aramaic language, this word means oil press. On the Mount of Olives, there is a town called Gethsemane, which overlooks the walls of Jerusalem. It was probably given this name since there used to be an oil press on those hills. From what the evangelist John tells us, this area, which belonged to one of Jesus' disciples, was an olive grove which Jesus was accustomed to retreat to with his disciples when they were in Jerusalem. After the supper in which the first Eucharist was celebrated, Jesus leaves the city of Jerusalem in order to pass the night in this olive grove. It is here that Jesus makes his final decision, a decision he has made mention of many times in the past a decision which will plunge him into the depths of death itself with great suffering and brutality. He chooses to take this path into death since the suffering to which he was to be subjected would in fact redeem all people, every man and woman, free them all from sin and create salvation. It was to be Jesus who would carry out this plan that God the Father had entrusted to him. It is for this reason, the Gospels tell us, that on the night this was to take place, Jesus' anguish and sweat became blood. As the suffering begins to plague his spirit and the fear of death increases, Jesus turns to the Father and cries, Abba, Father, everything is possible for you. Take this cup away from me. The love for sinful humanity overcomes Jesus and its need for his mission of salvation is felt as an imperative. Subjecting himself to the extreme sacrifice, Jesus continues his prayer to the Father. But let it be as you, not I, would have it. Jesus has made his decision with infinite love and courage that knows no bounds. That night, Jesus is accompanied by Peter. When the men of the temple come to Gethsemane to arrest Jesus, they are led by Judas, one of the twelve. Peter is overcome by grief and fear. Peter regains his courage and together with John and the others goes to the courtyard of the high priest's home where Jesus has been taken in order to discover what will be the master's fate. In this very courtyard, Jesus' prediction comes to pass. Before the cock crows twice, you will have disowned me three times. Peter had at that time told the master that this would never happen since he loved the Lord more than anyone else in the world. When one of the women servants of the high priest recognized him and pointed to him, this person was with him too, why he is a Galilean, Peter replied, I do not know him. Before the dawn of the next day, Peter was asked two more times if he knew Jesus, and each time he denied him. At that instant, while he was still speaking, the cock crew. If Peter's denial was great, even greater is his love and faith in Jesus. Peter bitterly weeps for what he has done, 
but does not lose hope for forgiveness since Jesus died for him as well.